ஹாய் திஸ் இஸ் ஜிதேஷ் சத்யன் வாட்ஸ்அப் நம்பர் ப்ளஸ் நைன் ஒன் நைன் சிக்ஸ் ஃபைவ் சிக்ஸ் சிக்ஸ் ஒன் ஒன் எயிட் டூ நைன் டுடே ஸ்டாக் இஸ் அ ப்ரீஃப் ஓவியூ ஆன் த அதிகரணா வீல் டிஸ்கஸ் ஃப்ரம் பிரம்மசூத்ரா வி ஆல்ரெடி கவர்ட் பகவத்கீதா ஃபியூ உபனிஷத்ஸ் and now we'll take up one adhikaranam of brahma sutra in the next few talks we we'll look into brahma sutra devata adhikaranam verses 1326 to 1333 this adhikaranam is selected for discussion because these sutras deal with existence of devatas and devatas are a key entity in tantra the intent is to clarify the misconception propagating in the internet by modern advaita vedantins that devata and their puja are baseless also this discussion will clarify why shankaracharya and his disciples visited and established multiple temples installed sri yantras and many advaita vedantins have authored tantric works so commentary on these sutras from uh, 26 to 33 shows shankaracharya's adi shankaracharya's point of view on devata based on his commentary on brahma sutra there is no vedanta without vedas and since vedas mention of devata interpreting vedanta by disqualifying devatas as done by several modern authors only shows a lack of understanding of advaita vedanta even tiger in dream can cause pain in dream and bring out blood in dream maya in advaita vedanta is sat asat vilakshana and not asat hence saying that because of aham brahmasmi there is no devatas or higher influential forces of nature is a complete lack of understanding of advaita vedanta devata adhikaranam deals with the topic if devatas also have a right for shastra vichara or dwelling on the shastras to break from samsara cycle of creation and destruction we'll cover a preview of devata adhikaranam which has only eight verses in the next talk thanks for listening